All right, so we actually decided to do something a little bit different today than I normally do. I uh, didn't have a lot of time for editing lately, so I figured to do a quick voiceover, play some music for you guys in the background. Uh, Frontwoods Farmer here. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share to all my videos. Um, so today we were going to do, I think this is a, it was 44 inch uh, diameter at its widest point. I believe it to be a willow tree, uh, but I'm not 100% sure. The inside kind of looks like locust a little, but I know this isn't locust looking at the bark and everything else. If one of you tree guys, uh, arborist experts, can comment and let us know, that'd be cool. Uh, that's a steel 056 AV saw. Uh, we were going to make cookies today, and we ended up making some, but I kind of threw a milling video in here too to give you guys something just because it wasn't working out uh what happened that saw is a beast and it just runs so strong it vibrates and the muffler flew off <laughs> so i didn't feel like hearing it no more the chain both my chains need sharp and you'll see from the video but i figured it's something a little bit different than what i'm used to doing i'll give it a try and see how you guys like it but yeah uh I'll let you guys enjoy the video uh like comment and share Thanks, guys. about now you guys are probably wondering why swap saws and it's pretty simple the 48 inch saw that we had the steel 056 av it's just dull uh, we haven't added out of the shed for a while so that's going to need sharpened i swapped out to my ms 372 i believe is the model it come with a 28 inch bar 85 cc as well it's pretty dull too so i guess i'm gonna have to get to the store and get the uh new chains put on these saws they're pretty much trashed i don't think i can uh sharpen these but we'll see so yeah i'm gonna finish off this uh pretty large cookie out of the unknown species tree we got here and let's get back to the video What ended up happening right here was where the tree was laying, the last 10% of the cut was putting pressure, making a pinch point where I could barely get the bar in and out. It was putting a lot of uh, tension on the bar, causing the chain to bind up. So I just decided to grab a couple plastic wedges, figure I'll pound those in, try to get some pressure off and finish off the cut. see me working the wedges in between the bark and the live edge it's gonna fall off anyway and what I've learned from ear drying and ear drying and ear drying lumber any kind of wood is if you could get the bark off get it off because that's gonna attract like roaches and bugs and different little things that'll just eat your wood anyway so you're better off just taking it off
little bit of a safety tip here. And a lot of you guys experienced in chainsaws and cutting trees, you'll notice I should have stopped. Uh, the worst saw, the most dangerous saw is a dull saw. You know, you're digging in, digging in. You're always, you shouldn't have to push your saw. When you do that, things happen and get hurt. So thankfully we did stop that shortly after this, but just remember when watching me, I know you guys will pick out, oh man, your saw must have been really dull. It was, it was really dull. I shouldn't have been using it to, to throw a new blade on there. But yeah, we stopped after this. 